Hello everybody. Um, I think this was called Try a Chapter. I already forgot um, what it was called. And I just looked it up again. And then I got on Discord. And then I got on Instagram. And I got all confused. Okay. This is for number. Um, in the March Mystery Madness um, prompts. And I have four books here that we're going to be um, looking at. Um, one is by Vin Packer called Three Day Terror. And then I have two by Gil Brewer. Um, one is 13 Front Street and 77 Rue Paradis. Or it's Rue Paradis 77. I can't remember. Um, and then um, we have Agatha Christie's Five Little Pigs. Okay, so let's let's go over this. Um, the first one we will talk about will be... I guess we'll just go Three Day Terror. Um, this book is broken up into um, like parts and then chapters and you're like oh, okay yeah so what what's wrong with that sometimes the parts are they have their own like text so it'll be like part one and it'll be like a chapter and then chapter one and so it, it's kind of confusing and weird but um in this, this guy pulls up to a town, and he's on the outskirts of town or something, and he's, like, looking into the town, and he's there at a certain time for a certain reason, and he knows that most of the townspeople are either at this place or this place, and so he's up to no good. He's about to do something bad, and um, this guy pulls up, and he, like starts talking trash to him but asks him if there's like a place to get something to eat real quick or something ridiculous like that and then it's like um and he's not really going to remember this guy but this guy's really going to remember him so it sets up something like really cool like i don't know what's going to happen like i don't know if the first guy is like a crook and he's going to go do something and this guy's going to be the one to finger him or if the second guy is really the bad guy and I don't know we'll find out um then we have um 13 French Street and this book um started off really quick and snappy like very Gil Brewer, um, and it's about this dude who was buddies with this other guy during the war, and he goes to visit him, and as, when he gets there, he's talking to this guy's new wife, who is kind of a vamp, if you get my drift, and she's just very flirty, and it turns out that for the last year, she's been the one sending letters to him um, instead of his buddy. And she's like kind of talking for him, and then she kind of flirts with him. And it's like very flirty. And he's like, Well, where's my buddy? And she's like, Oh, he's coming. Don't worry about it. And um, she's very close talking to him very touchy with him and then when he sees his buddy and it's only been like five years since he's seen him he's like a shell of a man and that's where the chapter ends so this chick is this dude's wife and when you're reading it you don't know that right away when you first start reading it you're like oh he they're like pen pals or like it's like a blind date and weird you know whatever but um so that's what that's about 
and then um, the first chapter of Rue Paradis 77, um, which is 77 Paradise Street, um, from what Zoe told me. Um, this has, it's by Gil Brewer, but it's like, has the longest run-on sentences that explain all sorts of stuff, but don't really get into anything. Um, and I didn't even read half the first chapter, and I was like, okay, I've already read two books that are better than this. I'm not even going to play around with this anymore. I got, I got stuff to do. I got books to read, people. Can't be reading stuff that I'm just, like, not into. And then we get to Five Little Pigs by Agatha Christie. Now, um, this was... Kind of cool. Like, it's set up. Basically, this chick comes in to see Poirot. And she says, hey, like, 16 years ago, um, my mom killed my dad. And I want to get married to this dude. And, like, we're both kind of freaked out, but we're not really saying it. But we both kind of are. That if he pisses me off, like, there's a chance that I might kill him. And Poirot is like, okay, yeah. That doesn't help me none. Like, what do you want? And um, she's like, I don't think my mom did it, and I need you to prove it. And if you could prove it, then me and this dude could get married, and we won't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to kill him or not. And on the surface, the premise is kind of flat, but the more I was thinking about it, like, I started, like, playing my own movie in my head. Um, writing my own book, and I was like, ooh, 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 this could be good, ooh, 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 um, so, those are the choices, so, one more time, let's go through it, we have Vin Packer's Three Day Terror, we have Gil Brewer's 13 French Street, we also have another Gil Brewer book, um, Rue Paradis 77, and um, Agatha Christie's Five Little Pigs. And the winner of this great conundrum is Agatha Christie's Five Little Pigs. Um, and I'm going to tell you, in the amount of time that I've decided I was going to read this book and make this video, I already read Five Little Pigs, and I'll do a review video of, on that shortly. Um, but I think what's more important here is what is my second place book, because the second place book will probably be read this month anyway, and that will go to Gil Brewer's. 13 French Street. Um, I like the way it was set up, and um, I'm very intrigued as to how this war buddy has turned into a shell of a man, and how this evil city woman is going to destroy um, our hero, because that's what happens in these books. So, um, and the Vin Packer book sounds cool. Um, I just was turned off by the way it was, um, formatted, I guess. I don't know. Um, that's just me being a jerk. But anyway, <clears throat> so, um, if you've read any of these, let me know down below if there was any of these that you would have picked over Five Little Pigs. Let me know down below. And, um, I guess we will do a try a chapter for person next. So we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, I will see you later.